Business Matters, presented by the Guamanian Magazine. So we need to understand. Annie Garcia is the president of SM Supermalls, the largest group of shopping malls in the Philippines. She was the keynote speaker at a recent International Women's Month event sponsored by the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce and the Philippine Consulate of Guam. Garcia said the mall business in her country has benefited from robust economic growth. The Asian Development Bank projects Philippine GDP will rise by 6.2% in 2017, making it one of the fastest growing economies in Southeast Asia. We see it in consumption spending. The Philippines phenomenon on growing overseas Filipino workers is something uh, I think they're producing more than close to I think 28 billion already, over, yes. And in addition to that, um, I read it once that, um, that we are in the demographic hotspot where a lot of young people have now turned 15 and are doing part-time jobs, you know, so they're not only in school, but also they're also beginning to earn. So this is good. Garcia joined the company in 1989 to run the second SM Mall. She rose through the ranks to become president and now oversees a total of 60 malls. We have a lot of competition. We want to also stay ahead. And in doing that, we have to innovate. We have to look outwards and see what else uh, other services and other merchandise we can bring to our people. But we have to give our own distinct SM service levels to the customer so that we become their preferred mall. Staying ahead has also meant expanding the business into China, which SM sees as a huge growth market. Garcia has helped oversee the launch of seven malls there. So they're all very, very good and they're all very promising, especially our very new ones. So, But, you know, working on mall projects in China um, are very... Um, these are very uh, serious projects in the sense that we have to really know a lot of the regulations of the government, be able to comply with them, and... Um, it's good, it's good. It's a lot of learning and the market is very strong and vibrant. Garcia says a lot of work goes into deciding where and when to open a new mall and its success rides on paying attention to every detail. We do our studies and we find out what is the daytime population, what is nighttime population. We have migrants from different provinces and municipalities that come into that city. So we need to understand too what it is that they need and want from a shopping center. Uh, so we make our studies and when we go, we also go and visit all the outlying uh, provinces and all the outlying uh, municipalities. Um, and uh, of course, very importantly is to get um, to uh, communicate and to en get engaged with local business people. Sometimes they see us as a threat because we're big. But then again, we, par we like partnering. We like making sure that um, everybody wins. But in this new age of technology, is there a new threat to traditional shopping centers? What has been the impact of online retailers like internet giant Amazon.com? We see online to be complementary to the brick and mortar. We don't see, I mean, of course, uh, we have to pay close attention to it because it's a, it's a new avenue of growing the business, but we want, to, we want also to be part of it. This is something that we, we take very seriously. That's why even on our own, we are working on our own online. We want to be there for, for the Filipino market, whether you are physically able to go to the mall or unable to, because because of business and or schooling or something, our services should be able to reach you at home at any time of day. So this is something we're working hard on. Some of our own SM companies uh, that are um, direct, I mean, they are, let's say like Watsons, they already have their own. So they're, they're, the, the business is ongoing. Garcia said when she first started out in the business nearly 30 years ago, she never expected to become president, but has enjoyed every minute of the journey. And she looks forward to continuing to build places for customers to enjoy. I love shopping. <laughs> I love shopping, but more importantly now, I want to make sure that that same similar shopping experience that one gets either from Divisoria or wherever, that I have to make sure that that experience of everyone that comes into our malls will be the same. It'll be better. It'll be nicer. It'll be happier. These are the things I aspire for. For KOM's Business Matters, I'm Nestor Leconto. Business Matters, presented by The Guamanian Magazine.